This problem is ex exact same setup as the quiz in 4.1. So if you're not sure how to create this table, then go ahead and look back to how that goes. So here we do an additional step to find out what the expected value is. So uh, we're going to make the column here, which is x times p of x. And you would just simply multiply the x and the probability of x across. So 0 times this is 0. 10 times this is 0.256. 20 times this is 3.072. 30 times 0 0.4096 is 12.28, and 40 times this is 16.384. And these are numbers I've calculated using the calculator, so you wouldn't be able, you, you wouldn't be expected to do this by hand on the test most likely. They will just simply give you answer choices that are in these forms. Anyway, so now for the expected value of x, I will simply add these up. So, 2, actually let me just use my calculator to add the, all that up. 0 0.256 plus 3.072 plus 12.28 plus 16.384. So the expected value is 31.992.